Hear from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time this morning uh, just to give honor and praise and glory to the Almighty God. Many persons did not make it this morning. Uh, they passed off last night, but this morning uh, our lives were spared one more time uh, to say hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Uh, if we fail to praise him this morning, uh, then the Lord will rise up sticks and stones. Uh, you soon start to treat clapping their hands this morning. But this morning we're in the house of the Lord. You're joining us in your living room, in your bedroom, on the veranda. It doesn't matter where you are this morning. It is a good day to give praise unto the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. And this morning, I want to take time out to welcome the Holy Spirit who is evident in our midst this morning. Hallelujah. Welcome Holy Spirit. You're welcome in this house this morning. Move like you have never moved Holy Spirit. Break bonds and set free this morning Holy Spirit. Move like you have never moved before. We thank you this morning Holy Spirit that your presence is already here. I would like to acknowledge in their presence this morning and to bring greetings from our founding um, apostle this morning, the Reverend Dr. B.G. Williams, our Bishop, Bishop Garcia Edwards this morning, he's not well. Let us remember him and his family in our prayers this morning. And our acting Bishop this morning, Bishop Anderson, this morning, we want to say um, greetings this morning and to bring welcome from him. Our own pastor, Pastor Michael Thompson, and his family in their absence. They send greetings this morning. Hallelujah. I want to acknowledge Pastor Allen this morning and little Allen in the host this morning. I want to acknowledge the deep hearts, the deaconess, the musicians this morning, the missionary. Hallelujah. I want to acknowledge the musicians, the ushers, the technicians this morning. And you saints who are here this morning, I want to say welcome this morning to Liberty Hall. If you are joining us live on Facebook this morning, we want to say a wonderful welcome, a happy Sunday morning to you. Thank you very much for joining in this morning. And thank you for making it the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center. Hallelujah. 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 I know that we're all acquainted. We are still six feet apart this morning. But nonetheless, we're going to stand in the house of the Lord. And we're going to greet somebody with a wave this morning. We're going to greet somebody with a smile this morning. You don't need to move this morning. But we're going to be greeting somebody in Jesus' name. We're going to wave and tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us stand. If you're on Facebook, just wave to us. Just give us a high five. Just give us a hand this morning. You don't have to move, but you can let us know you're participating this morning. Let us greet somebody in Jesus' name. Let us tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Tell them we can work together in Jesus' name. Everybody. 
river. Together we can move mountains. Together we can build bridges today. Let us work together in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 and know that you feel welcome in the house of the Lord. Let us listen to the morning's announcement. So let's make our announcer welcome, Sister White Thompson. Welcome her this morning. Hallelujah. and praises that we are still in the land of the living. A number of people within the last hour are no longer with us. And so we have to give God thanks that we are still here. It's, it's not by any chance while we are here, but of course it's by God's grace and mercy. So let us continue to worship Him with all our heart and stay in His presence because in His presence there is fullness of joy. Good morning, church. Please listen attentively to the announcement for the week commencing May 16, 2020. Pastor Thompson, Missionary Thompson, and other members overseas, send their love. Special greetings from Pastor Allen, Missionary Allen, and the family. The Gibson's family would like to thank the church for their continuous prayer and support. Sister Robotha has lost her mother. Sister Beverly, Lois has lost her nephew. We crave your prayer for them and their families in their time of bereavement. The Old Highway Evangelistic Center has available our block drive booklet in aid of our church building fund. Please collect your booklet at the church office. Due to the new COVID-19 protocols, persons will be contacted to attend the church. So you should only be at church by invitation. Nightly service will be on hold until further notice. You can join us live on Facebook page for regular church service on Sundays. Please remember that you can join Pastor Thompson on Tuesday at 6 p.m. via Zoom. That's Jamaican time, 6 p.m. And join Pastor Allen by Google Meet on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. for Bible study. Again, Pastor Thompson on Tuesday by Zoom at 6 p.m. and Pastor Allen on Wednesday by Google Meet at 7 p.m. These links can be found in the various WhatsApp groups. The Old Harbor Evangelist Church has available a PayPal account for members to contribute to our church building fund. This information is found on the Facebook page. The church continues to thank you for your continued love gifts and offerings. Continue to make your love deposit to the Bank of Nova Scotia Old Harbor Branch. The account number is 32003357. This, this account is a check-in account. These are the announcements, so please bear them in mind and pray concerning them. Continue to comply with the guidelines and policies outlined by the government of Jamaica. Remember to wear your mask, sanitize, and wash your hands regularly. Practice social distance and remain. And please remember to remain prayerful in the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you very much, Sister Thompson. For the announcements. I pray that we'll keep the announcements in mind and we will pray concerning them. Hallelujah. And at this time, I want to add just two things to the announcements. Um, this coming Tuesday, not tomorrow, but the next Tuesday, which is the 23rd to the 25th, our association, our churches across this island will be embarking on a fast called the Pentecostal fast. It's from the 23rd to the 25th. If you're able to go three days, then we welcome the move because these things can only be moved by prayer and fasting. If it is that you can fast for a day, we acknowledge you to fast for a full day. 
every day for the three days. They can fast and break and fast tomorrow. If it is that you are led and you are able, remember you should assess your conditions first before you go on a three day fast. If you believe that the Lord is able to take you to three days and you are able to join us, as I said, together we can break chains. Together we can change things through prayer and through fasting. So the Pentecostal fast is from the 23rd to the 25th of this month. You can join us here at fasting during that period on the Tuesday. The other days we can fast from home as we are still acknowledging the COVID-19 protocols. We're not able to gather in a mass way, but when we come together in prayer, there is no distance. When we fast, there is no distance. And this morning, I ask you to join us as we pray to move mountains. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the second thing that we want to announce is that via Google Meet will be having in a long time we have not had it and so it is that we have seen the need and the marriage ministry is going to be having a meeting on the last Thursday of this month via Google Meet. The marriage ministry will be having a meeting on the last Thursday of this month. So we say to the couples, bring out your sparkling champagne, BB Cola champagne, real champagne. Sit with your spouse and we will be having a speaker to encourage the couples as we go through this season in our lives. And if you're single, no more, we're trying to put together a wonderful package for those who are embracing their singleness. Amen? I'm not hearing the single ladies in the house because today is Women's Sunday. So let me hear those who are married say amen. Those who are married say amen. amen. I think I'm talking to the wrong audience. <laughs> let me hear those who are single say amen. amen. So it's the wrong Sunday. I announced it for marriage ministry. Alright, so we will be having something for the single person soon. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your name. What time is it? Come on, man. What time is it? What time is it? It is the time that we give back a portion of what the Lord has blessed us with this morning. And the Lord has been blessing and blessing and blessing. And even though it doesn't seem as if the bonds are bursting, when you start to count your blessings one by one, it will surprise you what the Lord has actually done. Amen. And we are going to be giving back to the Lord. So I'm going to ask the people of God in the house just to stand this morning. And we are going to be repeating our tithing creed this morning. We are going to decree and declare this morning through our tithing creed this morning. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to be decreeing this morning and declaring things. We're going to break some financial barriers this morning. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the blessings of Almighty God. I believe that when you give, it comes back shaking down, pressed down together and running over. And even though sometimes we don't see the physical money, our help is a testimony of our giving into the kingdom of Almighty God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Because some persons have money, holy of it, lots of it, but they are unable to enjoy it because their help is failing. But this morning when the Lord bless us with help, it's testimony of the goodness of Almighty God. Hallelujah. We're going to be repeating that tiding creed this morning. And we're going to say it. We have never said it before. We're going to say it and we're going to believe it this morning that he is able this morning. Hallelujah. When I tie. Come on, people of God. When I tie. If you're on Facebook, I want you to say it this morning. When I tie. God promises to open the windows of heaven and pour out 
for me a blessing. Malachi 3 verses 10. When I give, Jesus promised. If I give, it will be given back to me. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. For with the same measure I give, it will be given back to me. Luke 6, 38. Paul the Apostle said, He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. As I give today's offering, I want you to say it with some confidence this morning. As I give today's offering, as I keep and give today's offering, I am believing the Lord for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, check in the mail, gifts and surprises, working for good money. Come on, people of God, working for good money. Give 
God, because truly you have been good to them, God. Bless them, O oh God. We give you thanks for the blessings, God. Bless the work that you will be put to on earth. We give you thanks and we give you praise in your holy and precious name when we say amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The ushers will be serving us this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Asking you this morning just to sing with me this morning. Hallelujah. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain. Life is never known.
the mountain. It's the same God down in the valley. The God that takes you to the good times is the God that will take you to the bad times. And this morning, the same God in the day is the God of the night. And I want to encourage somebody this morning. Take faith this morning that you are not alone. In your rough times, God is there with you. Rest assured this morning that it is rocky and it is dark, but God is with you this morning. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. No matter how God it is, He is right beside you. The God of the day this morning is the God of the night this morning.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. I greet you, wonderful saints, in the precious name of Jesus this morning. I have knowledge of our bishop and founder this morning, our pastor and his family, Dr. B.T. Williams. I have knowledge of our, our bishop, Bishop Garcia Edwards and family. I have knowledge, I greet Pastor Thompson and his wife and family this morning. And I greet Pastor Helen and family this morning. In the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a blessed day to be in the house of the Lord this morning. It is a privilege to be in the house this morning. Hallelujah. I will call upon to share a word with you this morning. Hallelujah. I just want you to turn your Bible with me to Philippians 3. We're going to read from 1 to 14. Philippians 3. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, it's not grievous, but for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of, of the concision. For we are the circumcision, we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit. And rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he are thereof, he might trust in the flesh. I am more. Circumcised the eight days of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and the, and the Hebrews of the Hebrews. As touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what thing were gain to me, those I count lost for Christ? Yet doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but God, that I may win Christ. And he found in and he be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his suffering, be made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as I, not as though I had all already attained, 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 if they were already perfect, but I follow off that I may pray, that for which also I am praying of Christ, of Christ Jesus. Virgin, I count not myself to have a prayer, but this one thing I do, for getting those things which are behind, and I reaching forth unto those things which are before putting in that. I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your word today. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, as I stand before you this morning. The lump of clay, Lord, mold me and make me. In what you want me to be, Lord, this morning, I feel like a child in your hands. Lord, I cannot say, I cannot do anything of myself. I am holy and solely dependent upon you, Lord. Oh, strengthen my feet, strengthen my body, lift up my spirit. Speak to me this morning, oh God. Oh God, let your Holy Spirit go through to this world this morning. Somebody may be blessed. Somebody may be delivered. Somebody may be set free this morning. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. You may be seated this morning. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. My, my key verse, I will use this. My team, my topic this morning is desiring Christ above all else. Desiring Christ above all else. I want to use my key, my strict key scripture this morning is death. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death. So Paul, apostle of Jesus Christ, was in prison when he read this slip. And he said, he, he sent this letter to his brethren in Philippi. Finally, my brethren, he said, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same thing to you, to me indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is sake. He said, rejoice in the Lord. Paul is in prison and he's talking about rejoice. It is not easy to be in a prison situation. And talking about rejoice and be joyful. It is not easy. But Paul was rejoicing to know that he is suffering because of Jesus Christ. And he writes unto the people in Philippi. He said rejoice in the Lord. No matter what is going on around you. We can rejoice. We can be in prison like situation. But we can rejoice. Once we have Jesus in our heart. We can rejoice. And Paul. Teachings are going on around this. 
this is my my king verse, that I may know him hey. and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection, Paul said, I want to know Christ more than anything else. I want to know Christ. I desire to know Jesus Christ above all else. My desire is to know Jesus Christ. And nothing else means mean nothing. Nothing else don't mean anything to us. But I think everything was perfect. What do we have to give up to know Christ? What is hindering us from knowing Christ? To know Christ, we will have to give up our own will. We have to give up our will and let the will of God be done in our life. To know Christ is to trust Him even when things look impossible and things dark. Things not going right. Virgin, things not going right with me. But I am trusting God. I seek to know Him. I seek to know Him. Every day of my life, I seek to know Him. When we are going through difficult times, seek to know Him. When we are going through dark times of our life, seek to know Him. Desire to know him for so that I may know him. That I may know him. That I, David said, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's what David wants. Want to dwell in the presence of the Lord all the days of his life and to inquire in his temple. You know, we say, you know, this, you know, this building made with, with, with stone. Desire to be in the presence. Father Lord, when we get to know Jesus Christ, He can trust us. He trusts us and He can talk to us. I know that we're not going to let Him be ashamed. In St. John 15, verse 14, He said, I no longer call you servant. I call you friend. In St. John 15, verse 14 and 15, he said, Ye are my friend, if ye do whatsoever I command you. And so I call you my servant, for the servant knoweth not what is the Lord doeth. But I have called you friend, for, for all things that I Made known unto you. I want to be a friend of God. I want God to call me his friend. I want to be a friend of Jesus. Jesus said, I will tell you everything that my father tell me. If I am no more servant, you are my friend. Do you want to be the friend of Jesus Christ this morning? Let me hear. I'm getting to know Jesus. Paul said that I may know him. I put away all of these things that I may know Christ. I call them down because worthless. I must know Christ. I have to put them away. All of those things that I've been doing all of my life, they were not right. I put them away. They promised profit me nothing. That I may know him. The fellowship of his suffering. Paul also wants to suffer with Christ. And when we come to know Christ, we're going to go through some suffering. We're going to go 
brother and go because if you come to know Jesus suffer. Can Jesus alone bear the cross and the world go free? We have to bear some burden. We have to bear some suffering. And when we know Christ and the suffering, they go in an easy choice to the will. Paul said, Paul, listen to me, man. Paul, I've been to so many things when from the time Jesus lived down Paul and the master's rule and talking Paul in, in prison after prison after prison he get beaten, he get lost but Paul shake himself and go again because I need to know Jesus and I must know Jesus and I must please Jesus when I was reading about Paul I said Paul, he had been he, 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 he stand before Christmas he can stand before Felix Many, many people have done this before in, in, in prison. Could you clear himself? Because it, as part of prison, where they carry him down a court. And he have to stand before many, many court officials. Stand up and declare himself. But as far as they let the part of gone again. Because Paul desire is to see him with Jesus. Whoa! 
Jesus get a hold of us, brethren. We think that we must be here. And I know it hard. And I've done it hard. And it is up to me, and if it's not me, if it's up to me, then it can't happen. It's all about me if I am not here, it can't work. If I don't do it, it can't be done. Lord Jesus, we need to reach to a place of knowing Jesus Christ. Paul said that I may know him. I count everything lost. I count everything gone. I count everything as worthless that I may know Christ. Humble in Jesus. Hey, I feel like a child. I'm your Lord. You Perfect. But I follow after. Is that I? 
and may a friend God wish also I am a friend of Christ. Brethren, I told not myself to have a friend, but this one thing that I do. I forget the end of things that are behind. Forget the end of play. Forget the end of struggle. Forget the end of achievement. Forget the end. So Paul, Paul, forget him, the achievement.
morning. Hallelujah. If you are joining us on Facebook, keep your hands up, my brother. I am happy that you are in the house this morning. The Lord wanted you to be here this morning. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying this morning for those who are joining us on Facebook this morning. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying for this brother in this house this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence this morning, God. One more time, God Almighty. Oh, God Almighty, we come on behalf of somebody else, Father. We have a faith this morning, God, for somebody else, God. God, we're asking for saving faith this morning, mighty God. Oh, God Almighty, we have a brother in the house, God. He has not yet come to know your presence, God. He has not yet to come to acknowledge you as Lord and Savior, God Almighty. I pray, oh God Almighty, that right now, God, wherever he is today, God Almighty, those that are on Facebook that are not saved, God Almighty, wherever they are, God, I pray, oh God Almighty, that you will open their hearts, God, to acknowledge that you are God and that there is none like you, Jesus. I pray, oh God Almighty, that they will see the need for salvation this morning, God Almighty. I pray, oh God Almighty, that you will touch their hearts, save their souls, God Almighty. Open a window, God Almighty, and pour out your blood upon their life, God Almighty. I pray, oh God, that whatever is in their life that is not of you this morning, God, that you will roll away those things, God Almighty, and invite your presence inside their hearts. I pray, oh God, that as you come into their hearts, that they may experience a renewal, God, that they may experience newness, God Almighty, that they may experience a change, God Almighty, and that, oh God Almighty, they will choose you before the time of too late this morning. God, we ask that you see it to the utmost this morning. I pray, oh God, that you touch them, God Almighty, wherever they are this morning. There is no distance in prayer, God. Oh, God Almighty, there's somebody this morning who believe, God Almighty, that they're at the end of their road, God, and there is no other alternative, God. But this morning, I offer them Jesus this morning. Oh, God Almighty, the way seems dark, God Almighty. Somebody, God Almighty, is about to give up, but I give you Jesus this morning. If you're an addict this morning, I give you Jesus. Oh God, if you're lost this morning, I give you Jesus. He's the way maker this morning. We offer Jesus to you this morning. Touch them, God Almighty. Cover them underneath your blood. Provide for them this morning. We give you thanks and we give you praise for them. In your holy and precious name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody in the house, stretch your hands up to the woman of God this morning. Father, we come again before you, God, as the woman of God pour out her heart, God Almighty, as the woman of God spoke with power and authority, God, reminded us of the way that we should live this morning, God. I pray, you, God Almighty, that you cover her underneath your blood. I pray, you, God Almighty, that you touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. I pray, you, God Almighty, that every system of her body, God Almighty, will now be subjected unto you, God. God. I pray, oh God Almighty, that you will build a fence round about your family, God. Every way that you put your foot, God Almighty. I pray, oh God Almighty, that you open doors for her, mighty God. Touch her once more. Return to her strength, mighty God. Give her the will to carry on, God, even when it seems dark. Touch her, God. Go one more time. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In your holy and precious name we pray. And we lift our hands in the sanctuary and we pronounce the benediction this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No may the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, the whole soul of faith say, Amen and Amen. God bless you and thank you this morning for joining. Thank you this morning for coming. Thank you for making the Old Harbor Evangelistic Center. For those who are here this morning, there are some food stuff coming into us this morning. We ask you just to grab a bag and 
and it shouldn't take so 